What's up guys, it's I am AKA iPod Touch Helping and in today's video I've got the first episode of a continuous series I'm gonna do on this channel which is basically just showcasing three artists that I believe are underrated or undervalued that you should keep your eye out on the Tesla's blockchain. Um, I'm a collector, a flipper, and a creator of NFTs. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I'm very passionate about Tezos, and I just really, guys, I feel something fucking brewing on Tezos. There is something brewing here, guys. Um, but without further ado, let's get right on into the video. I'm gonna talk about a few different people. Um, I'm gonna talk about why I chose them, and then I'm gonna maybe talk a little bit about how um, I found them. Um, so here we go, the first artist, which is a fucking banger, guys. You guys should be grateful for this one. Um, the world's best NFT finder ever. No, I'm kidding. I'm getting, um, I'm being a little bit delusional right now. Let's open up his Twitter, guys. And this is why I decided to buy one of his pieces because he has a really good amount of followers. You know, he's not like following like a billion people because when I see a billion follow, you know, following and 7,000 followers, something seems fishy and fake. You go down, he's not getting the best engagement, right? Like 17 likes on this seems underrated because the skill level is there but guys let's talk about this this is why i bought it has done work with disney sesame street tiesto and dead mouse like so clearly this guy definitely um has some talent and has worked with very prominent people and businesses so i think just based on the skill set just from the art that's what caught my eye first when i saw people were buying this the art caught my eye first i thought it was spectacular went to his twitter and noticed boom disney sesame tiesto so for those reasons guys i um i went ahead and i purchased one of these for 2.5 tez and they sold out within a day so i would put this wallet on your tracker guys and uh, get ready for the next drop because he has dropped another similar piece which has almost double the amount of copies and let's see if it's selling. Um, so it hasn't sold on the secondary yet, but um, you know, I would still, I, I still believe in this, uh, in this artist, and I would definitely keep my eye out on him, guys. How did I find him? Um, I just saw him on the live feed earlier today. Um, I noticed a few people bought him. I looked into him, saw he worked for Disney, and said, "Done, done. That's enough. I'm ready to buy." Next one I want to show you guys is this artist right here, and all the links um, will be in the video description down below. So the next guy here is SHZZM underscore, um, link below, like I said. We'll check out his Twitter real quick. Um, but if you look, he really doesn't have too many pieces, right? He's got 6, 12, 18, um, 24, roughly. He's got like 24 pieces, um, and you can tell, because I'm. these are his older pieces at the bottom here, every damn piece pretty well or every couple pieces, he definitely gets better. Like these, his, uh, you know, 12 most recent ones are really nice. I think he's finding his style. And this is a style that is starting to trend on Tezos. Some of the top artists, I forget his name, one of the top artists, uh, Lucerno or something like that. I forget what it is exactly, but it looks really similar to this. Um, and when people can't afford to spend 30, 40 Tez on one of those, they're gonna go to the next best thing. and. There are a few artists that are making a similar style, but I think this guy is doing it really well. Um, today, this guy dropped this one. I bought two of them for one Tez each, and then I sold it. You can sell, see right here, I sold mine for 2.5 Tez. Um, I could have sold it maybe for three. Someone sold one for three Tez, but I was just happy to sell it for 2.5 because that completely covers the cost of um, both nfts that i purchased so i basically got one of them for free and yeah now i'm just going to wait for more of this guy's uh, content um to come up and i'll probably try to buy it because i have had success flipping it um really quickly and now that i have one basically for free it's more of a long-term hold and maybe one day i'll be able to get 10 tes out of it or 20 tes um and that's kind of the strategy that I'm going with here, guys. I'm a mid to long-term flipper because I, I just don't give a fuck about making one Tez for the most part because that's not gonna really bring much benefit to my life. Um, you know, some people it might, and, and, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding cocky, it's just like, I'm, I live in Canada, it's a little bit more expensive, you know, $5, which is roughly $5 Canadian is one Tez, 
it doesn't bring too much value to my life, but you know, $100 really could. So I'm a mid to long-term flipper, not really a short-term flipper, guys. And uh, yeah, his Twitter, let's just quickly check that out. 420 followers almost. Um, you know, he's not really popping. He's getting good. Um, he's getting really good engagement though for the amount of followers that he has. So I think his skill level is kind of speaking for itself and people are liking it. Um, and the last one, guys. Um, that I'm gonna show you guys here and keep in mind guys a lot of these this art that I like like I pretty much only only buy art that I like or I think is very talented someone the person is very talented creating it um, so this next person because the reason why I do that is because if there is a bear market if everything crashes I want to at least be able to hold things that I'm I'm proud to hold even if I lose money on it I, I want to at least kind of have some pride in it or enjoy it a little bit um, so that's just another little uh, strategy thing. Anyways, um, I bought one of these today. I'll go over kind of why I think they're underrated. Um, it's pretty simple because I just think the work is really nice and they have a lot of sales here. Like if we go to their activity, they were making sales on the secondary, which is always really, really good to see um, them making sales on the secondary. Like this one sold for 2.3 just a couple days ago. This one sold for six on the secondary. So people, are making money flipping this one already which is something you know you want to look for for sure um but the ultimate um or i'm not cancel that i'm not going to go on that ramble there but um yeah i just like this person's work i saw this one i bought this one today because uh it was listed at like uh one what did i buy it for it was listed at 1.2 it was the last one um or it was the cheapest one on their page um so basically what you do when you want to when you find someone that you think is underrated like this, um, you know, I'm on object.com. If you're ever here and you don't see their Twitter, here's a little trick. You go to here, you go to object, you click that object button, and then you'll go to the Hickak Nunsa or Hen, I'll just call it Hen because I'm bad at pronouncing crap. Um, and then you click on their name there, and then boom, now we got their Twitter link. So we can check out their Twitter. Not a whole lot of followers, but I thought this one just based on how many sales they're getting and on skill level, I thought I would put this one on my radar. I'll buy one. I'll see what happens if I can flip it. Then I'll keep buying them. If nobody wants it, then, you know, I might have to put this one to the side. But those are three artists that I think you guys should potentially keep on your radar if you like them. This is obviously not financial advice, guys. I'm a I'm a degenerate. Um, you should not listen to me. I'm, I'm literally doing this for fun. Of course, I'm trying to make money and not lose money. Um, but I'm just super into this stuff. So I thought I might as well share some information into the universe or the ethos or whatever and we'll see if anybody likes this content because nobody's making tezos content um and i feel like someone's got to feel the void there's a couple guys it's gg is probably my favorite um youtuber and then there's also um nft gospel or i forget Lo his name's logan and he makes really good videos on tezos as well other than that there's not too many people um, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. This is also the website nftbiker.com where I kind of go and scroll and see what people are buying live. And sometimes I hop on the train and I buy one with them because this is where the momentum gets built. And this is where you can get a lot of opportunities to get stuff at mint price that will potentially never be sold for mint price again if they are a you know a worthy artist. Anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. This was I Am. Till next time. Peace out, A-Town.